you guys, it's your girl, Princess Tita. Cause obviously you forgot all the time that I held you when you cried. And don't you remember that even if you was in a wrong, I stood by your side. And I know before y'all say anything, y'all better be like, bitch, where the fuck you been? Like, you come back here a month fucking later with new hair, all this extra shit. Bitch, where the fuck you been? Bitch, let me tell you. So, a lot has been fucking happening. So, bitch, you know, been going through some shit, you know? But this video, but I just want to let y'all know it is the day before Thanksgiving. And I'm going to go out with my best friend. So, and June's downstairs sleeping. We have my mom's house, by the way. Um, June's downstairs sleeping with my mom. I just got off of work and I wanted to record this video real quick for you guys. So, I had someone inbox me. Um... I'm sorry, not inbox me, uh, emailed me and asked me for help. And y'all know my friendly ass was like, yeah, girl, I can help you, blah, blah. But she having some baby daddy issues. And you know, if y'all can give y'all input on what some things that she can do, comment down below, help her out. You know, because other people are going through this shit. Like I was going through it and I was, you know what I'm saying? Me the type of person, I'm just going to deal with it. But she reached out to me and I don't mind helping. I'm going to post it on the screen as well, but I am going to block out her name because and that's none of y'all fucking business to know who the fuck she is or she want to end you know comment down below let her, you know people know who she is that's up to her but me personally i asked for permission before i made this video but um yeah oh by the way before i start this video um two things don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos they're coming bitch finally hit 400 subscribers that's what's up bitch that's what's up keep it going let me hit 500 and we be gucci and then make our way to six then a thousand then twenty thousand and then a hundred thousand keep me going all right but anyway let's get to the video oh one more thing y'all like this wig yes it is a wig bitch it's a wet wavy but i just was doing a i've been to work since early this morning so this is what it looked like at the end of the day, which is not bad. I mean, it's a little puffy, but it's good. It's good. And so you want this look? Hit up her favorite. What the fuck is her Instagram name? I can never fucking remember it. But I would just put it on the screen. Hit her up for wigs, uh, sewings, um, natural hair. If y'all know my friend Taylor, she does. she's the only person that does my blowouts, my silk presses, anything. That's the only person I trust to do my hair, cuts, anything. Go to hit her up. So anytime y'all see my hair laid and slayed to the cards, that's her. Okay, so hit her up. I'm gonna put her name on the screen again. Boop. And then um, I'm gonna put her, her not her personal, but I'm gonna put her her um hair page on there so yeah go check that out she does really good and this is in richmond 804 area hit her up yeah back to the fucking video if you haven't read the title it's yeah okay so i'm gonna read it you guys can read it too it said hey i've been watching your videos on youtube and i need advice me and me and my son father <laughs> uh been i guess you meant been together on and off for two years i've been through all the baby mama issues bitch me too um him hitting me while pregnant he cheated on me so many times i lost count he was my best friend and i know i'm done for saying this but i guess i'm keeping hope that he goes back to the person i met sis i got some advice for you sis um we brought our family into our drama so my family hates him and his family hates me but my, ba my baby daddy mouth is so disrespectful when he, um, he can't control me sometimes. I have nightmares of him actually getting so mad he kills me. I just want to know how to leave him alone. I'm 20 years old and simply looking for advice. Baby girl, let me tell you the first thing where you kind of, not mess up, but like something that you can take into your next relationship. That's how I said that. Never. When I say never, never bring your family into you and your relationship. That right there would be the main reason y'all do not be together. Because at the end of the day, like you say, he hit you when you was pregnant. No man, me personally, I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, nobody, nobody should tolerate you. Nobody, ugh, bitch, I cannot fucking talk. Um... You should not ever tolerate nobody putting their hands on you at all. And you sound like a beautiful girl. 
you are beautiful bitch i haven't even seen you but you are one hell of a beautiful girl and don't let nobody fucking put their hands on you at all i don't give a fuck who they are don't let nobody put your fucking hands on you you square back the fuck up with no i'm just kidding i'm sorry i'm sorry i play too fucking much but like i was saying um keep your family out your relationship that's that's a big no-no right there and what else you said you said uh he cheated on you so many times you lost count baby this part itself so fucked up but i understand you in love but you gotta do these niggas like they do us <laughs> I had to learn the hard way. I know you all in love and shit. Trust me. I was the same way Boo Hoo and cried. Like, nah. She don't deserve that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm the horror. I'm the worst person to take advice for because I play too fucking much. Um, nah, okay. So, like, nobody should tolerate you cheat. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you got, the, you got two options. Leave his ass. Shit on your back. When he put his hands on you, you should have left right in the air. Ain't no, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I won't do it again or I'm sorry you just made me so mad or I couldn't I, I didn't know what I was doing I, I'm blah, blah blah they would give you every fucking excuse in the world do not allow anyone to put their hands on you I don't give a fuck if he slap you if he shove you he push you that's time to go deuces nigga like no don't tolerate that shit you're too fucking beautiful to be allowing somebody to fucking put bruises on you the fuck you look like tell, tell them you're the baddest bitch you know, any nigga would be happy to have me. Like, like, nigga, if you lost your fucking mind. But no, I'm still here stuck up with your dumb ass. I'm gone. Do that. Bitch, like, you are too fucking beautiful for, for you to be dealing with somebody that's putting their hands up. Obviously, he insecure as a bitch, girl. He's young as fuck. I'm not even sure how old he is. Even if he's old, young, mad as fuck. You're too fucking cute for that. Don't know. And another thing, what my problem was that... You said in here, you said, I know I'm dumb for saying this, but I guess I'm keeping hope that he goes back to the person I met. <laughs> Bitch, I felt that shit. I felt that shit. And, and a lot of people don't know this. I waited for more. My Excuse me. I ain't even gonna bring the name up here. I waited for my baby daddy. Even after every fucking thing, I even hit me. And then I'm like, and I kept on telling everybody. I was like, no, that's not the fucking person I met. This is, he just going through something. Like, no. That's not the person I'm at. I know that person is still in him. I know that person is is there. I know that person. That person I met in 11th grade that I fell in love with is there. And baby, you just got to face conclusion that maybe this is the front. My friend used to tell me, she was like, T is maybe a front of me. Maybe this is the person he always met. I'm like, no. My friends can vouch me. I was like, no, that's not him. I know him. That's this, this, I used to blame, I used to, I used to say it was, you know, blame it on the bitch. I used to play it on everybody else but him. But him. No, baby. Don't, 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 don't. But don't feel dumb. You're not dumb. That was your best friend. That was my best friend. People change. God put you in situations so you can wake the fuck up and like, hey, this is not how I want to be treated. This is not how I want to bring my baby boy, baby girl. I'm not sure what you said you was having. Oh, son, your son, um, father into this world. I mean, you don't, you don't want your son because think about it. Kids see every fucking thing. My son is two year old. He does the same shit I do. They, they know this shit. They, they repeat after every fucking thing. If you allow your son to keep on seeing shit like that, guess what's going to happen? Guess what's going to happen to the next generation when he start dating? Guess what's going to happen when he get out of here? Guess what's going to... He's going to be, oh, my daddy did this to my mommy. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do and go to school and punch a little bitch in the eye. Then what? Hey, Miss... I don't know your last name. I'm just going to say Johnson. Hey, Miss Johnson, um, your son up here hitting, you know, little girls. He said, you know, his daddy did that. Um, we don't tolerate this. That's embarrassing. Kids do the same exact shit that their parents do. Stop that right in the air. Don't not allow your son to see, you know, you going through something like that. Like I said, you're too fucking beautiful to be dealing with some shit like that. Um, another thing, his, your baby daddy mouth is so disrespectful when he can't control me sometimes. Maybe, sis, you gotta learn how to cuss because I'm a cusser. Girl, I sound like a white girl cousin, but 
hit his ass when he gets smart with you and he'd be like who the fuck you think you talking to he's like excuse me you heard me nigga no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding sorry don't listen to me i'm sorry i play too fucking much <laughs> no but don't allow nobody to talk to you disrespectful you need to learn how i know it hurts trust me <laughs> if you like you said you watch my videos and it's you know you can see the hurt on me if you go back my very first video is depression that video explain you could see my face i was just so broken in the inside you know what i'm saying you can see how hurt heartbroken i was and i don't want you to feel that and i know i know you're feeling that right now you probably are and i just want to let you know baby girl it's gonna be okay you're gonna get to the point where you just like nah and then when you get in your next relationship you you you're not gonna tolerate shit not a damn thing girl you're not gonna you could be that bitch walking your confidence gonna be boosted all the way up he probably one of them niggas that beat you that 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 bring you down make you feel ugly in the inside right he one of those niggas that be like oh like he was so-called trying to make you feel good but trying to put you down at the same time no sis no nah, you're too fucking beautiful you're young you're 20 baby if you don't stop fucking with these little niggas gonna get you a sugar daddy sis <laughs> bills paid so i take care of you still walking around like the bad bitch that's the story time for the next video if y'all want me to talk about the sugar daddy comment down below oh by the way this is sugar daddy with no sugar let me show y'all how to look out for those so let me know um but yeah i think i covered everything that you say you've been together on now two years Oh, you me so many times, lost count. Oh, girl, she don't have back. I'm serious about that. She don't have back. Show, that, show me how that shit feel. That shit don't feel good. And, and sometimes listen to your dreams. That's what I can't say. Listen, when you go through, like, when you dream shit, sometimes, have you ever had deja vu? Like, you see some shit in your dream, but then it'd be random shit, like, dumb shit. But you, next, about a month or so later in the future, you see the same exact shit. Girl, you ain't tripping because I seen that shit, too. Um, oh, shit, I thought you was going upstairs. But that's your fucking mind, your conscious and shit, telling you something. Don't ignore it. Don't. Because... You don't want, I don't want to see you die. I don't want to hear about another domestic violence. I don't want to see you die. Nobody tell you they care about you, girl. I care about you. I love you. And I'm, I'm thinking sincere to heart. I'm keeping my fucking prayers, bitch. And don't take that bitch word wrong. I call everybody a bitch. But it's nothing like that, sis. So, again, you are too fucking beautiful. And now I'm telling, now I'm being honest. I, I didn't even look, see what you're looking like. And I bet you when I look at you, you probably be the baddest bitch walking, sis. But don't, don't feel bad. For still loving him, my me and my baby did been through a lot of shit, and I still I love I have love for him. Don't get me wrong, I love him. He he helped me bring my son to this world. I could love you from a distance, a distance, and I had to learn that shit the hard way. At time time will heal a whole lot of shit. So go ahead and cry it out. I understand you love this nigga, but sometimes you have to learn what's best for you and your son. You, you need to raise your son how to treat fucking women. Don't sit up here and raise him around somebody who don't know how to treat the women. Get you a nigga that knows how to treat you. That open your door. That, I mean, that does, you know what I'm saying? That does shit the right way. Make you feel good inside. Make you feel pretty. Make you feel love. That's the kind of person you want around your son. That's the type of person you want around your son. Not no nigga that put his hands on you. Girl, nobody liked it. No wonder why your family don't like them. But this is my thing. Another reason, don't bring your family around your, I mean, bring your family into the business. Because what my mistake was, I'm going to let you, I'm just going to put it out there. Because to me, it's dead and gone. You know what I'm saying? So, when me and Morris used to argue, let me use that example. When me and you, Morris used to argue, I never, my family didn't know shit. Because at the end of the day, they loved him. My family loved my baby daddy. They, they, they he think he's the most perfect person, perfect father. Don't get me wrong. He's a good, he's a good ass daddy. He take care of his son. He love his son dearly. I'm not going to get that away from him. He does what he got to do for his son. I give him that. But when me and him used to argue and he actually fought on me and pushed me and uh, sl choke slammed my ass, I could laugh at it now because but that shit wasn't funny back then. They, they didn't know that. His family knew that. 
His whole fucking family knew that. He goes to tell you why. He brought his family in. And guess what? His family don't like me, sis. His family don't like me. They talk shit about me all the time. Threw sad shots on the book. And I see it. I see it. But at the end of the day, I know I'm a good ass person. You know what I'm saying? People do shit in a relationship that they don't really realize that they're doing. They actually make decisions. When you bring other people in your relationship, that makes things 10 times harder. It makes 10 times worse because you have other opinions on what you can do, but you don't think for yourself. You don't think about what you should do. You want to, oh, what should I do? Go get, go to your cousin. Go to your friends. Keep your friends, especially your single friends. Keep your friends. And this ain't no, no you know, shade to any of my friends right now. But I'm just saying, keep your friends out of your business. You know what I'm saying? Um, and just trust me, girl. When I tell you, you're going to be, get past this hurt and every fucking thing. Like, I'm trying to tell you, sis. I'm trying to tell you. You going to be, you going to be okay, sis. It's, it's hard. It's hurtful right now. And let me say this one thing. People do change. I'm not saying that, you know, eventually. He's dead wrong. He's dead wrong for putting his hand on you. But me personally, I personally would not look at you any type of different. Because if, let's say if you was to take him back after all this extra shit. I would not fault you because, not fault you, but like, that thing's like fault you. Some shit like that. You, bitch, you know what I'm trying to fucking say. But... I wouldn't look at you like you stupid if you was to take him back because I did the same thing. And it's like now me looking at I was like, damn, you blinded by love. I can't tell you what to do. I can just give you my advice. And that's what you asked for. I'm not going to tell you to leave him. I'm not. I'm not going to tell you to do certain things. But me personally, when I, I can give you advice is don't bring your family into your relationship. That's going to do nothing but hurt it as you see. If you bring him back, they gonna do what? Why the fuck you bring it to him? Why you bring? Why you take him back after he sit up there and did this to you? You got people in your area. Then you like, okay, yeah, you right. And then you looking at him. He looking like, bro, we just worked on this shit. Like we just talked. We got past it. Let's move forward in our relationship. But no, you got your mommy, your daddy, your cousin, your sisters, and, and brothers in your ear. You're not really paying attention to what you need to do for you and your son. So keep your feelings out your business. Don't tolerate none. Like I can't. Be strong, sis. I know it's hard, but don't tolerate nobody putting their hands on you. Don't. If you haven't watched Medea movies, you better learn how to watch one now. Because, bitch, you better take that grit and that pad and smack the fuck out his ass with it. And I ain't even joking on that one. Next time you put a hand on you, you better whack his ass with a fucking pan. No bullshit. Um. What else? Oh, you ain't gonna trouble for that because it's self defense. Um. But don't just go around smacking him with a damn pan because he said no because you can't go out to eat. Don't do <laughs> don't do that. But it, yeah. Again, sis. And if you ever, you know, you can inbox me again. Um, if you have another question, anybody that reaches out to me, as you see, I will respond. I my I had people actually DM me that we became close friends. I have one friend that we became close friends. And she has a YouTube channel herself, so I ain't gonna put it out there because I don't want her to know. I don't want y'all to know who that is who came to me, you know, asked about her issues, but as if she was okay with it. But yeah, so if anybody else want to reach out, any type of, it doesn't always have to be baby daddy drama, boyfriend drama. It says you going to college, you don't know which one to choose. Bitch, I ain't go to college, but bitch, we're gonna look at that fucking school. So okay, with this, no, let's just go with that one. No, you like these people? No, because I don't think, um, Look at the look at the reviews. No, I just don't do that one. Do this one. You know, any other things, just let me know, sis. Let me know. And don't forget to like this fucking video, bitch. Comment down below that you subscribe. And when I hit the 500, 500 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway, bitch. My first giveaway. And I'm serious about that. I love doing shit like that. And I got so much to update y'all on. And I'm back with the videos once at least once a week so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to princess tita and you guys will see more of june but june i will bring my beer but that little nigga sleep and i'm not ready to sit here and wake him up because if you know june june is hyperactive he's getting my goddamn nerves sometimes i love him to daily but god lord so to act, i hear mommy two thousand times a day 
two, scratch that two million times a day and you know i just change my name you just want to change your name okay so you guys Jesus, that was so corny but see congratulations to you what you wanted is what you